Aaron here with the stitching prompt for this month's UK Scrap Addicts and this month I wanted to do something a little bit different because I thought there will be ladies that do machine stitching or hand stitching and I thought I would try a little bit of cross stitch onto my layout and the first thing I did was from a graph paper generator which there are lots online i printed out a quarter inch graph but when i had a look at it i thought that's actually too big so i went for a 0.5 centimeter graph which is this one and as you can see the squares are smaller but there is still enough space between where I'm going to pierce for the holes not to split into one big hole. So I started with my graph paper and I printed out four pieces and pieced them together to make a 12 by 12 piece. Onto the 12 by 12 piece I added my design in crosses and as you can see I scribbled about and changed how I wanted things. I did mark the centre square to make sure that these were even. And then I did what's going to be my photo mount separately. So that is how my photo mount is going to look. So I'm going to get on and the next job is to pierce the holes. So I've chosen this pattern which I've drawn out for my <clears throat> photo frame and I'm now going to prick each corner of the cross to give me an idea where I have to stitch. You can see where all of the dots have been pricked through and what I'm going to do now is trim just a little bit around the edge and then start my stitching. Now that I've cut out my shape I'm going to remove the grid paper and use it as a guide for the colour and placement of the cross stitches and I'm just going to do normal cross stitching. Now that I've finished cross stitching my photo mat next job to do is to stick the pattern to this piece of patterned paper prick it through and do my border here we are with the border almost finished i just have one more heart to stitch which i will do now Although it looks like it's a complicated process, probably in real time it took me about maybe two to three minutes to cross stitch each of the hearts. And this is a Paige Taylor Evans paper, and I chose it because it has the multicolored little crosses on, which I thought fitted in really nicely with um, my cross stitched border. So that's my cross-stitched border and this is the 
photo mount that will go on the top. So the next thing to do is to put my picture on the photo mount and then add some embellishments. I have this picture of my daughter and her boyfriend and I'm going to trim it to 4x4 four four, which I think will be the perfect size for my photo mount. So I printed it on my selfie and added a sort of corner shadow to it. There we go. See how it looks on here. The blues should fit in really nicely. And it does overlap a little bit of the stitching, but uh, Maybe I'll put it down in one corner, or no, I like it centrally better. So I'm going to pop that on there with some foam pads, and then pop some foam pads underneath the photo mount to hold it up a little bit. And I will use some Paige Evans Flower Ephemera to pretty up the page a little bit. To finish my page, I have this acrylic word from Bramble Fox, which I'm going to put down there. And then I have these Horizon flowers from Paige Evans. So I've chosen ones that are sort of in pink tones because I think that's what the page needs now. And I'll just play about with them, arranging them. That's my finished page, so I've done the cross stitch border and the cross stitch photo mount. And it really is an easy way to embellish a page, you can do as much or as little as you want. And I'm very pleased with the results of that one.